Today, we are going to talk about a topic close to everyone's heart, inflation. Now, this is a term that appears frequently in the news, but we'll talk about it a lot and its implications are far-reaching. It affects every man on the street. Today, we'll take a look at what this is, how it affects everyday life, the role of central banks in managing inflation, and how we can effectively navigate this environment. Firstly, what is inflation? Inflation is the rate at which the overall level of prices for goods and services rises, resulting in a decrease in the purchasing power of money. Simply put, when inflation rises, the value of each dollar you have becomes lesser and you can buy fewer goods and services than what you could previously. What causes inflation? This can be a very complex matter. To just simplify, I'm going to explain three different ones here. They are typically classified into these categories. Demand pull inflation, cost push inflation, and built-in inflation. Demand pull inflation occurs when the demand for goods and services exceeds the supply. Consider this scenario. Everyone wants to buy a new home, but there aren't enough available. The competition amongst buyers raises the prices. This type of inflation frequently occurs in a thriving economy with high consumer confidence and spending. Cost push inflation occurs when production cost rises, resulting in higher prices for finished goods and services. For example, as crude oil prices rise, so do the cost of transportation and production for many goods. And this cost is often passed on to consumers in the form of higher prices. Built-in inflation relates to adaptive expectations Businesses and employees adjust their behaviours if they anticipate that prices will continue to rise. Workers will demand higher wages to compensate for anticipated cost increases, and businesses raise prices to cover the higher wage costs, resulting in a cycle of rising prices and wages. Now, how does this impact you? Inflation has a great impact on many aspects of our daily lives, most notably the cost of living. Prices of everyday essential goes up. Things like your groceries and gasoline becomes more expensive. And guess what? Inflation is most likely to have impacted this rising cost. The cost of groceries is determined by raw material prices, production costs, and transportation costs. For example, if wheat prices rises as a result of poor harvest or higher fuel cost, bread prices will rise as well. Similarly, increased costs for farmers can result in more expensive fruits vegetables, and your meats. Gas prices are another reliable indicator of inflation. Crude oil costs, refining processes, and distribution all have an impact on pump prices. When inflation is high, underlying costs rise, resulting in higher gasoline prices. This, in turn, affects not only personal transportation costs, but also the cost of goods transported by road, contributing to overall price increases in various industries. How does central bank respond to this? When inflation begins to rise, central banks such as the Federal Reserve in the United States intervene to try to contain it. One of the primary tools is to adjust interest rates. Raising interest rates is a common strategy employed by central banks to combat inflation. Higher interest rates makes borrowing more expensive potentially reducing spending and slowing the economy. This is how it works. When interest rates rise, loans for large purchases such as homes and cars become more expensive. This is to discourage people from borrowing and spending money, thereby lowering overall demand in the economy. Prices tend to stabilize or even fall when demand is low, which helps keep inflation under control. Higher interest rates also encourage saving over spending. When interest rates on savings accounts and other interest-bearing investments rise, people are more likely to save money to benefit from the higher returns. This decrease in spending helps to alleviate inflationary pressures. Central banks raise interest rates to signal their commitment to containing inflation, which can influence expectations. If businesses and consumers believe the central bank will keep inflation under control, they may be less likely to raise prices and wages ahead of time. But raising interest rates can have a significant impact on borrowing costs for both individuals and businesses. This includes your mortgages and car loans. When central banks raise interest rates, 
commercial bank loans rates rise in response. What this means is that your mortgage and your car loans will become more expensive. Higher interest rates on mortgages can lead to significantly higher monthly payments. For example, a small increase in the interest rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage can raise monthly payments by hundreds of dollars, making home ownership unaffordable for many. Existing homeowners with adjustable rate mortgages may also see their payment rise, raising their financial strains. Auto loans, like mortgages, become more expensive as interest rates rise. Higher monthly payments may deter people from purchasing new or used vehicles, causing a slowdown in auto sales. Those who decide to buy may choose less expensive models or postpone other purchases to stay within their budget. Businesses may also face higher borrowing costs, which will limit investment and slow the economic growth. Companies that rely on loans for expansion, inventory purchases, or cash flow management will find these financial activities more expensive, potentially resulting in lower business investment. While rising interest rates present challenges for borrowers, they may provide benefits for savers. For example, when interest rates rise, banks frequently raise the rates on saving accounts and other deposit products to attract more deposits. This means that your savings will grow faster. For example, if the interest rates on your saving account rises from 0.5% to 2%, the interest earned on your deposits will quadruple. This significantly increases your long-term savings rate. Certificate of deposit and money market accounts are saving vehicles typically providing higher interest rates than traditional saving accounts, and raising the rates will make them even more appealing. Locking in a certificate of deposit at the highest interest rate guarantees a higher return over the certificate of deposit term. Higher interest rates can increase income from savings and investments for retirees and those on fixed incomes. Many retirees rely on interest income to cover their living expenses, and higher rates will help them to maintain their standard of living. Higher interest rates improve the returns on fixed income investments, such as bonds. Newly issued bonds will have higher yields, making them even more appealing. Although existing bonds may lose value, the overall opportunity for higher returns on new investments grows. Now that you understand this facet of the economic environment, what can you do? Adopting proactive strategies is critical for successfully navigating an economic environment marked by inflation and rising interest rates. First thing you can do is to stay informed. Keeping up with economic trends and policies is critical. Keep up with financial news, government economic reports, and advice from reputable financial advisors. Understanding how inflation and interest rates evolve allows you to anticipate changes and adjust your financial strategies accordingly. Number two will be to review your budget. During economic uncertainty, it is critical to review and adjust your budget. Keep track of your expenses and identify areas where you can save money. Reduce discretionary spending on dining or entertainment to offset higher costs for necessities such as groceries and utilities. It is also always good to have an emergency fund to cover such unexpected expenses or income disruptions. Thirdly, discuss your options with a financial advisor. Consulting with a financial advisor can provide personalized advice based on your specific financial situation. A financial advisor can help you assess your current financial situation, set realistic goals for you, and create a comprehensive plan to achieve them. They can also advise you on how to optimize your savings and investments in the face of rising interest rates, such as relocating investments to take advantage of higher yields or adjusting retirement savings strategies. A good financial advisor will also help manage your debt in a high interest rate environment. They can determine whether refinancing existing loans or consolidating debt makes sense given current interest rates. Working with an experienced financial advisor allows you to create a personalized plan that addresses your specific financial needs and goals, giving you a clearer path forward. 
Inflation and rising interest rates are powerful forces that shape our economy and influence our daily lives. Understanding inflation, how it affects everyday expenses, and how your central banks respond will help you navigate these changes more effectively. Whether you are adjusting your budget, taking advantage of higher savings rates, or seeking professional advice, staying proactive and informed will always help you maintain financial stability and make sound decisions in an ever-changing economic landscape. Now go start creating your real wealth. That's all for today and we will see you in the next video.